Aurora on, on a phone now. Um, this is our icon. If you tap that icon on your iPhone, it launches the web, this is the web service of Pandora on your iPhone. It can stream the music, but it streams it over the cell network. So over AT&T, which is uh, the network that the iPhone runs on. It'll stream the radio over your phone. So you can then take this personalized radio with your personal stations on it that you create on Pandora, and you can walk around with it, you can plug it into your car, you can take it to the gym, you can, at home you could just plug it into your stereo system. And so it, this personalized radio is mobile now. You can take it anywhere that you want. And we launched this nine months ago, and we have over five million people using it on just on the iPhone. Um, and we also uh, launched on the BlackBerry about a month and a half ago. And the BlackBerry is growing at a similar pace. And this coming weekend, there's another device that's going to launch from a company named Palm called the Palm Pre. There's going to be another interesting mobile device. And all these devices are kind of like mobile computers, essentially. They're like little computers you can walk around with. And they can deliver all the features of a website on a computer, but it's completely mobile. And being able to be in the car and at the gym and when you're walking and so on means that finally internet radio can compete directly with you know AM FM. Probably most of you if you drive around, you know, even if you're at home, generally you're listening to broadcast radio. And it's kind of hard to find the music you like, limited selection, lots of advertising. Uh, we plan to replace that with this form of radio. So we've learned that a lot of concert promoters use Pandora. So what they'll do is they'll type in the headliner, the main act, and then they'll wait to see a band come along that would make a good opening act for them. Um, it's being used by DJs looking for new material. Uh, it's being used by, um, it's being used in a lot of schools for education. Uh, it's also, um, what else is it being used for? Um, it's being used by people writing music for movies. So the director might, or the film composer, might want a particular song for their for their opening, the title track for the movie, but it's too expensive. So they'll type it into Pandora and see another similar sounding song come along that they can use instead. So it's got different applications, which we, we like for all of those. Yeah. You know, if, you're, if you're an artist and you want to go on tour, you want to build your career, this is a great tool to sort of help you, you know, launch yourself. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, spend a week on the road, I'm going to go to Texas. And I'm going to go through 12 cities in Texas. And each city, before I get there, Pandora is going to send an email to people who demonstrate they like my music and let them know where I'm playing. And maybe you can buy a ticket off the website. So this kind of an ecosystem, this sort of a, a infrastructure is really, I think, going to be invaluable to musicians. And this is the kind of world you guys are going into.